To import your XRF data, simply open up the data folder, open up that Excel file, and if this is your first time using this Excel file, you will need to enable content for this to work. Now, go ahead and select the Load Data button, and you will be prompted to go and find your data. So go ahead and do so. Once you have your data at hand, you can hold Control and select individual files, or if you select the first one and hold Shift while selecting the last one, you will select every file in between. Now from here, you can open up your data. The Excel file will import everything for you and present you with a waterfall graph. Now a waterfall graph is a graph that has normalized the data to range everywhere between 0 and 1. It has been scaled and it has been offset. The offset allows us to separate the data from itself. If we want to separate it further, we'll go up here to the top left to this waterfall offset value and we'll enter in a larger number. And we can see that this data has pushed itself further apart. If we instead want to see them stacked on top of each other, go ahead and select 0 for your offset value and you can see it's all on top of each other right here. Let's put that back to an offset value. Now, if you want to scale to a value other than 100%, uh, you should do so right over here. Now, the only time you want to scale your data is if there is a reference element with an identical concentration between each sample. Uh, so, for instance, if you knew uh, that there was a certain amount of iron in each of your samples, and it was the same for each, you can go ahead and enter the iron energy here, which is 6400, and then you'll need to open this up a little further, but you'll select this auto button, and that will scale all of these spectrums so that the iron peak is the same for each. As we can see right over here, the scaling numbers are no longer 100%. This will allow you to compare elemental trends, neglecting all effects of uh, the detector and the uh, detecting program and so on. Now from here, if you want to undo this, simply select Reset. Now, to see where all of this is coming from, if we go down over here to the bottom left, we see three tabs. The Data tab contains the data, and the Graph tab contains just the graph. So, if we go over to the Data tab, we can see that we have our sample names right up here. We have some generic information about the samples, generic information about our detector, and then down over here is our sample data. This raw 1x and everything below it is the energy of our graph. Uh, if we start at column B, though, we can see that our sample name is right here. The scale factor is 100%, and this will change depending what scale factor we have in the actual graph on the scaling tab down here. But for sample 1, we can see all of its data is down here. Down over here in column C, we again have sample 1. But this time, the numbers have been scaled, normalized, and offset. As we can see, it has an offset of 0.1. For column D, we have the same thing as we did in column B, except for this time it's for sample 2. And in column E, it's the same thing as column C, but this time it's for sample 2, and the offset factor is twice what it was for sample 1. And then if we follow, the pattern continues. This is the unaltered data for sample 3. This is the scaled, normalized, and offset data for sample 3, and so on and so forth. 